Do I? We're taking a look at a uh, mongrel system preparation on top of a uh, pre-existing urethane slurry floor. Uh, what we want to do is we want to test the bond rate between a um, urethane that's ground. Uh, we made two passes with six grit diamonds, uh, trapezoid diamonds, with our mongrel system on uh, our urethane floor here. And this is actually an MMA patch, methyl methacolate with uh, light broadcast and it's uh, a primer coat and the following areas are an another urethane um, slurry with a broadcast of a uh, 20 mesh aggregate and another urethane slurry with no broadcast. Uh, we're going to test to see if with that aggressive grind with those uh, aggressive diamonds in the mongrel system if we have any delamination issues and uh, if not how it's going to come out. Um, as well as testing out a new product. As you can see, without a broadcast, you get a nice smooth finish. Uh, it won't hide quite as much imperfection, but it'll actually make uh, for a nice tension on, the, uh, on it as opposed to an epoxy. It has the same co uh, expansion coefficients as the concrete. It's a cementitious or a cement urethane, so that it doesn't have uh, the delamination issues of an epoxy. And it also uh, allows for a higher tension rate for uh, foot traffic. Or you can go with the heavy grit sand, which will allow for uh, much more anti-slip but less cleanability. Uh, stage two will come up right after this. We'll be doing a, uh, another urethane top coat. And on uh, top of our methyl methacolate will actually be, or MMA will actually be um, installing a colored course. We'll be doing a single broadcast just for sample reasons. But we'll be taking a look at what the finished product of a single broadcast um, colored course or mosaic tile uh, finished floor is with a uh, final top coat of a methyl methacolate uh, which cuts out about two days of your installation time ultimately giving you the best budget number for your flooring system.